It's a very slow Sunday in the cage, just one game to talk about tonight. SKA St. Petersburg hosts Vidas. Patrick Kersler makes his debut for SKA tonight and he's gonna face Alexis Emenov. My name is Andreas Sachinka, let's get right to it. 11 seconds, that's how long it takes SKA to open up the scoring. Yuli Kovalchuk makes it look so easy with his clap for his 12th goal of the season. One of the quickest goals in his career, actually. 1-0 SKA. With 3 minutes to go on the first, they score another one. Steve Moses feeds Yarnikoski runner down low, he can't put it in on the short side, he goes for a wraparound and the puck gets stuck at the goal line. Or does it? Their abuser playing really a good goal. The puck was over the goal line, it's 2-0 SKA. Exactly one minute later they add another one to their lead. Yuli coach accepts up Sergei Plotnikov for a one-timer and he slams it in for his sixth of the season. SKA have the most dangerous lead in hockey, it's 3-0 after 20 minutes of play. And early in the second frame, Vitas remind them of that. Alexei Mikheyev, that's his seventh of the year old, Maxima Finnegenov and Alexei Semenov draw the assist. Vitas are back within two, it's 3-1 now. Late in the period, SKA restored the three-goal margin. Yornikoski runner passes it over to Alexander Jurgichov along the rim. He feeds Steve Moses in front for a one-timer, and Koski runner that's his second of the game and seventh of the season on a rebound. It's 4-1 SKA now. They put a chair on top early in the third period. Ily Kovacek has his second of the game as well and picks up his third point of the night. Kovi has 29 points in 22 games. That's good enough to top the league in points. SKA wins their sixth consecutive game. They lost just one game in their past 12. Final one is your final. And that's it for your LKHL update. Come back tomorrow though for seven more games, including Yokuri Torpedo and Avangard vs. Red Army. My name is Andrea Sashenka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you Monday.